All right, all right, what's going on y'all? Max here with My Kind of Beats. Now today we are over here in District 3 in one of my favorite markets, but we're not gonna weave in and throughout the market today. We're gonna be right on the outside. We're starting today off with some dim sum because we gotta go for something super special, which you're doing, but not doing it by myself. Got a special guest with me today. We got... Hi, I'm Leo. I am from Yugly Official. Super fired up to be here with Max today. We have a boatload of stuff that we're going to eat. So if she's right, we got a lot we're gonna eat today. It's gonna be kind of different. We're starting off with dim sum. We're gonna do some Indian goat curry later. We're gonna do some coconut noodles, maybe a few other things as well. Excited? Ah! Uh, no, I'm fired up. You saw her, she's excited. I'm excited. Let's get it started. You didn't say your name. She done missed up on her video, y'all. Now this isn't gonna be like a Hong Kong typical style dim sum. It's got a little Vietnamese twist, a little Vietnamese flair to it. But what they're famous for is actually their cheesy crab. So what to do is take the crab mixture, I'm gonna give it a layer of cheese, broil it. I mean, it is ooey gooey crabby goodness. Look at ya. I'm in Saigon, come on. I'm going to be speaking Vietnamese the majority of the time so I can test Max. I know he's learning it. It's like test day now. Yep. I thought it was going to be a fun like field trip day. It just became test day. So as you see, today's going to be just a little bit different. She's going to actually be vlogging because she's only here in Saigon for a little bit of time. So definitely make sure to check out her channel if you want to see this stuff from a different perspective. We're just going to kind of keep going, doing our thing, work together, have a good time. So it's kind of like a unique spot because you see it's actually really nice, pretty new. And you're just right here at the edge of the market. So you go in here and it's like a wet market, super traditional. Okay. Orders up. Now we just wait. Okay, so we got a plethora of stuff, but we're gonna start with the main show. We're gonna go for these cheesy, ooey, gooey crabs. So what they do is got the crab mixture. They got more seafood in there as well. They hit it with cheese on the inside, then they're gonna layer it with more cheese, and they're gonna kind of like broil it off. Ooh. Gotta dig in there. Alright. Cheers. Cheers, yay! Mmm. It's so creamy, guys. And I like how there's like chunky texture in here as well. Mm -hmm. What is it? Just diced crab meat. So you got the pulled crab meat, but you also got a little diced scallop in there as well. You're gonna get a little sweetness from the scallop. Yeah. Which is sweet, sweet, ooey, gooey, cheesy seafood. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this would be illegal in the U.S. because there's no way you should have this good of a cheesy crab dish for so cheap. Yes, oh my gosh. Uh, oh, Ooh, look at my bowl, look at my bowl. Oh, there you go, you got Yay. it now. A little bit creamy on the inside. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. There's a reason I got three. <laughs> and I forgot to tell Max I have Kung Fu. Oh, so. you know Kung Fu? Of course, I'm Asian, come on now. First hack out in Vietnam. Well, actually second, but like this is the real deal. All right, let's do this. Mmm, in here is so, so like fresh. It's got really nice crunch to it. And I definitely love the wrappers. I've never had a wrapper like this. It's very silky, very smooth, but it has a little bit of a chew to it. Yeah, so this is actually a more of a Vietnamese little flair style dim sum because what you got is the hog out here. It's going to have a little bit thicker wrapper, a little more of like a tapioca, little chew to it. But if you about that life, if you like that chewier wrapper, you probably like this style dim sum because they do not lack on that shrimp filling. Still just as flavorful as the Hong Kong style. I'm really curious about this one. Oh, your bun. Try your bun yes, out. Yes, the bun. How is it? So I didn't really get the duck. You go, gotta go back in. Mm, that's pretty good. I like the sauce. Duck meat's very tender. Nicely seasoned. Mm. I want to get for one of my favorites now, though, my guy. I didn't have it last time they were here because they were sold out. So give me promise. It's oh so delicious. Look at this, you got two miniature No My Guys here, but the good thing is got the Lotus Leaf. That's so key when you really want to get that aroma and flavor into that. I 
now it's just ooey gooey rice so you got the chicken sauce and then a little salted egg mixture that is a stick to your ribs oh my god for sure you get a nice little aroma from the lotus leaf uh filling's a little underwhelming for me and then nice little kick of saltiness from that salted egg yolk so you got the bankum with the thom pretty much exactly yeah but right here got mine with my nice juicy prawn you got yours yep take y'all piece here you Cheers, yay. oh you better hurry okay The vinegar man vinegar really helps it yeah what i like about here is you maybe don't get this huge massive prawns here but they're really flavorful mm -hmm. yeah definitely very flavorful i just feel like vietnam has such good seafood you know right so you're saying you get that vietnamese seafood can't really go wrong mm -hmm. yep that's pretty good though okay last one we got we got the salted egg yolk bun so we're about to give you a little close-up pop that open ladies first Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. The salted egg yolk's trying to leak through the bun. Yes. Some of my favorite. It's so moist, you guys. Very spongy. Oh, it's a drier version. I didn't even know they have dry versions. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Okay, so dry version or wet ones? wet every day yeah yeah like you still get the beautiful flavor of the very sweet salted egg yolk mm. but for me we just have like that custard inside filling and it's running everywhere yeah, and it's dripping it's just the experience yeah you're right and like the mo the moment you bite into it it just kind of like oozes out that's beautiful if you're in Saigon get you one of these <laughs> mm. I'm thinking you want some coconut noodles next or should you go like Indian curry where you want to go noodles okay so we're gonna go eat some coconut noodles next we'll meet y'all there all right short little grab ride we are walking up on the bandambi right now you've not had these have you huh? have you had these uh what these noodles oh <laughs> she forgot i think i'm too full i'm like kind of drunk no just kidding just getting started no i have not ah well we are here let's get in here what? you love this stuff I tell you what, I told Leah, I was like, get in here, just order whatever you want. I think we just went ham. I think she just put in a big order. Wow, coconut on coconut on coconut, you <laughs> coconut addict. This is the day for coconut. Come on, Julia. Okay, so you love coconut. Yeah. So I had to bring her here because what do we got? Bantambi. Bantambi, thank you. Mm -hmm. And now we got the banchui. Mm -hmm. And then she got an assortment of stuff, which I haven't even had here. The combo, guys. Combo. The CC, the coconut combo. I think I want to start with the chili. I'm starting with sweet. Yes. Oh my gosh. Because sweets make me hungry. It's that heavy. Ooh. The moment of truth, you guys. You ready? Mm. I have not had like this for 30 years. Mm. I mean, sorry, this really makes me think of my mom because she would always take me to the place back in Queen Young to have this when I was seven years old, so. Oh my gosh, you're gonna talk about it like that. I can gotta get myself in here. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh my joy. <laughs> it's good for sure. What do we got, what do we got? What okay, we got? so this is a combo. Uh, they have tapioca balls. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that they glued a bunch of balls here together, so to make one big ball. Mm. Wow, the inside is so creamy, guys. All right, so this is Banyalong, y'all. It's got three different colors in here: um, green, actually maybe two colors, and purple. You know, when you're gonna give me pants.
and then you're gonna give me sugar, you're gonna give me coconut. That's just a trio right there. You can't mess up with that. All these are is you pick all these little different ingredients and they're just gonna give you different textures, different mouthfeels. But really the main star of the show is that coconut cream. It's so decadent, it coats your mouth, it's pure addiction. I mean, you could throw anything in this sauce. You could throw a shoe and I would eat it. Mm. Oh, it's time for the star of the show, the Bantam B. We could go in for it directly, but I, I know she like a little spicy, so we need to dress it up a little bit. Mm. All right, so I got the Bantam B here. What you got are those big, thick, almost kind of udon-like noodles, not quite. I'm more like udon wannabe noodles. Then what you got is their legendary coconut cream. They put some fish sauce in there. Then you see all that vegetation from the cucumber, the carrot, the daikon. I'm gonna put some of that pork on there as well. Like major flavor explosion in your mouth flavors that I never thought would go together, you know. So that definitely tastes the fish sauce for sure. But it has a nice like hint of coconut cream in there, and then all the texture, you know, from the carrots, daikon, noodles, everything goes together. Yeah, this is good. Very, very unique for sure. Like I have never seen this in America ever, and I've always been a very noodly person, you know. Uh, I thought my girl liked heat there, but that was a small scoop of chili. I'm not sure we like that heat. Key here is the sauce. You want to get plenty of that sauce? Don't be afraid to get in here and drink it. I know you could think it'd be too sweet from that coconut cream, but time you get the fish sauce, time to time you get the meat, you get the fresh vegetables, you get all working together. It's actually just a nice kiss of sweetness. It's just creamy, decadent, the textures. Underrated noodle for sure. <laughs> something you can only find here in Saigon. Something you should definitely eat when you come here. I think I like the noodles more than Leo, but she has not put down those toothpicks. She's scooping up all those sweets over here. I think I even saw her chugging a little bit of that coconut cream. You don't worry about that sauce, baby. Ooh. Ooh, not for everybody, but I'm telling y'all what, if you're a coconut addict like me, you gotta go there and eat those noodles. All right, I told y'all we were gonna do some different stuff today. We were actually heading for an Indian goat curry at a really famous spot for it. We really don't know anywhere else is doing Indian goat curry. I'm sure there is, but this is the spot you gotta come to. Perfect setting atmosphere, walking down a nice little alley. You hear the construction, common in Saigon, but it's just chilled vibes back here. Walking up it now, looks like I got some good people just enjoying the afternoon. All right, switching it up. Indian goat curry changing the pace of the eats today and in general. Oh my gosh, I haven't had Indian food for about three weeks now. It seems like their menu, guys. Definitely very expensive, so I got a lot to choose from. Okay, so Leo actually went pro mode here. She got our bun mei on the grill, got the char mark on there. As a professional call, I don't care who you are. And look at that goat curry. All right, get my gas, get it started. So I'm known to be like a sauce freak. So that's why I dunked it twice. Oh, wow. <coughs> oh, it's got that kick. <laughs> this is a very unexpected kick, guys. This is like Indian curry, but it has definitely like a good mesh between Indian and Vietnamese style for sure. Mm. I tell you what, I got excited right there. She about got bucked out that horse with that spice. Or maybe I should say go get my little bun me. Oh, I tell you what, that is really cooking that goat down, getting it really oily, coats your mouth, but then they're packing the spices and that red chili powder in there. That does have a little bit of kick to it, but it coat your mouth, not going anywhere. The sauce though. I like the cake. Look how sweaty I am. Don't worry. I know y'all used to somebody sweating on this channel. Wow. 
definitely like I feel like this goat, this meat, every fiber or of the meat is submerged in the spice. I don't wonder how long this has been marinated for, you know. You don't really need to chew it. Oh, would you look at that beef right there, that sauce, that big hunk of meat. Now you gotta watch out for those bones, but that just means you're gonna get some of the most tender melt in your mouth pieces of meat. When you cook meat with the bone, it just takes it to another level of tenderness. Clean. Yeah, that was a curry that would uh, make you instantly sweat. Oh my god! Like crazy, dude. Man, that spice came out of nowhere. <laughs> I think we liked it. Like we didn't say much. We just actually just like all I could hear was like dipping a bami right. and just eating. Wow, that was absolutely delicious. That's some good goat melt in your mouth. Oh my gosh, I hit the spot. But we're kind of on a sweet run today. We want to finish off with something a little sweet now. So we're about to head to a spot that's super famous for the chick. So you can tell how popular this place is when you go outside look at them getting all the jet dai ready to go just packaging it patching it and packaging it getting ready for the bikes to rally on through once everybody gets off work and heads home dang she knew my order i didn't even have to tell leo what i wanted she got one as well we got that jet dai they're a famous one here but we had some souring to it so i'm definitely gonna get some durian yeah yeah and it's here. Oh, I need this. I need this so badly. Put, look at that, putting the durian right on top. I'm just gonna give me a big old thing of durian to start this off. I should have just got nothing else. I should have said, like, can I have durian and some coconut and some ice? It's all I want. I love the durian when you get in desserts because they let it get extra, 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 extra ripe. It's just so creamy, melts in your mouth. It's perfect. Wow, they loaded mine up with a bunch of durian. Not all heroes wear cake. Now y'all, here's some real talk. I think the straws are so useless in the shit diet. Look, nothing. Nothing is coming up from that straw. All it's doing <laughs> is poking my eye out when I'm leaning over this thing, trying to get me a bite of some chair, man. <laughs> get out of my way. All right guys, so you notice there's a bunch of different fruits in here. What I love though, the fruits here and all of that gas, are fresh and you can you can taste it literally but in America everything is canned because we would make this shit a lot like yeah Thai is such a popular thing in America but you know just the taste is not the same mm. and trust me you got to get the Tia Thai when you come here but don't take my word for it just look around here and you'll notice everybody has one at their table I gotta really extend for this <laughs> hey y'all that is gonna do it. Nice little sweet treat to finish off. Thank you so much, Leo, for coming with us today. Yes, thank you so much, Max. It was an awesome day with today with you. I learned so much. And I'm telling you, like, I, if, if you guys have a, ever have a chance, if you guys ever have a chance to, like, uh, be in Saigon, definitely see if you can collab with Max, you know, like, hang out with him. You learn so much. Like, this man pays so much attention to the details as he built, <laughs> which I'm like, wait, why do you have to do this? And he literally would walk me through on why he does certain things, you know? So I, I love Max's heart. He really just wants to pour into people. So excited about Wednesday. I'm sure you guys had a great time today. Thanks again, Max. Yeah, no problem. Good to have y'all. All right. And all right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it as always. Leo's gonna be coming back with me for another day where we got another special day planned. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was a good day of eating. A little something different as well. Y'all, so Max and I'll catch you at the next video.